I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Today, I'm going to show you how to more than double the power of your TBS Crossfire uh, micro module from 100 milliwatts to 250 milliwatts without ever touching a soldering iron. Uh, you may have heard about this mod from Leave You Preda. Uh, his YouTube channel showed how you could open it up and solder make some changes. Oh, here we go. We just plugged in my module with USB. He showed you how you could do it, but that was way beyond the capabilities of most people. But the good news is that TBS has made it possible. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a Google search for TBS agent and it'll give, it doesn't matter where you go. Any of these, here's Crossfire Micro TX. That's fine. Any of the, the TBS agent is the same for all the TBS products. We're going to go down to find where to download. Download TBS Agent. Now TBS Agent is running, and we can see right here, XF Micro TX V2.41. All I have to do is hit Update, and then wait for this to finish. And when you're done, when you go into your, uh, your TBS uh, Crossfire Lua script in your transmitter, you will see that your output power used to have just 25 and 100 milliwatts. Now you can go up to 250 milliwatts, isn't that amazing? Hey guys, one more warning. If you do this update on your module, you will also need to rebind and update the firmware on your receivers. And in case you need a refresher on how to do that, I had to look it up because I forgot. Plug in the module, turn on the radio, and either in the Lua script, put the module into bind mode, or you can just push, if the, the, the LED on the back of the module will be blinking orange, indicating no link. If you just push the button right here one time, it'll go blinking green, indicating the module is in bind mode. Once the module is in bind mode, then power up the receiver. The receiver will power up. You'll get a solid red LED indicating no link. Within one minute of powering up the receiver, press the bind button on the receiver. You do not need to do the free sky thing where you hold the button down and plug in the receiver at the same time, but there is a one minute timeout after powering up the receiver after which it won't go into bind mode anymore. As soon as you do that, in other words, the receiver is, goes into bind mode and the transmitter is in bind mode, the next thing that should happen is that the, uh, the module will start blinking blue, indicating that the receiver needs an update and if you push the button again the update will start and the led will go solid blue until the update is finished after that it'll go green indicating fine it is all done you can also do this from the lua script instead of just pushing the button on the back and if you are going to fiddle around in the lua script you can probably figure that out for yourself 